Okay, now for rational indices. So what happens when you have x to the power of some fraction, for example, 1 over a? So don't be perturbed, there is a definition for this, and the definition is x to the power of 1 over a is equals to the root of x, a, this, and n times. So it's the radical sign. So to extend this, when x to the power of a over b, this will be x to the power of a, and then you root it b times. So there is a small detail here. Say you square root the number 4. There are two values, plus 2 or negative 2. Because both plus 2 and negative 2, when you square them, it gives you 4. Now, when we write it in the radical sign notation, 4 to the power of half, now, although this is the same as this, but we explicitly mean it to be positive. So that's the only difference. So let's practice. 64 to the power of 2 thirds is equal to... So if you want to do this mentally, obviously you don't square it and then you think of how you want to cube root it. Right, you cube root it first because you know that 64 when you cube root it and then you square it is much easier because the values become smaller. So the cube root of 64 is 4 because 4 times 4 is 16, 16 times 4 is 64. So you'll be left with 4 square and 4 square is easy because it's just a 16. So another example, say you have 100 to the power of 0 0.5. You know that 0 0.5 is half. So let's write it 100 to the power of half. And half is the same as square root. So square root of 100 is 10. So let's combine what you have learned so far. So say you want to work out something like this. Now this is not too hard. So we want to open up the brackets and this will be m to the power of negative 3 multiplied by negative 1 third, you will have 1, and you will have negative 5 over 3. And you don't have to write the power 1. So n to the power of negative 5 over 3, we can write it at the denominator without the negative sign. And that's it.